Metal testing lab, experiment number 12, bending test. Aim to identify the stiffness, young sprolus, maximum bending stress, and radius of curvature of a specimen. Apparatus UTM, dial gauge, steel rule, and uh, mass steel specimen. Observation gauge length of specimen. So, gauge length is 160 mm. Now, depth of specimen. Depth. 12. 12. So 12 mm. So this is a width of specimen, a breadth of specimen that is 31.5 mm and 12 mm. A neutral axis is half of the uh, the depth that is 12 by 2 that is 6 mm. Now write down the tabular column of load and deflection. The the specimen is kept under the bending stress apparatus on the UTM machine now take down the reading of load and elongation so on the tableau column write down the load and elong corresponding elongation taking the reading from the display Zero point It has reached to a maximum point of 16 kN. Now so it has bent and has made a remarkable bend. So it has reached to a maximum point, peak load of 60.45 kN with the elongation of 4.73 mm. As you can see, the metal has been bent. So, bending has occurred. Calculation. So, first calculate the um, moment of inertia I, that is B dq by 12. So, B is the width or the breadth of the, uh, of the specimen into these thickness. Specimen that is 12 cube by 12, that is 4, 5, 3, 6 mm raised to 4. Next, the neutral axis y that is d y2 depth of half of the depth that is half of 12 that is 6 mm. Next, maximum bending moment so this is a point load so for it's a point load act, which is acting at the center so the formula is w l by 4 so the bend, bending moment is 7 to 4 tennis to 3 newton mm. The bending stress is sigma b equals to m by i into y so m is 7 to 4 tennis to 3 into y is 6 upon i is 4 5 3 6. So we get it as 957.67 Newton per mm square. That is the bending stress. Lastly, the radius of gyration R is sigma B upon Y or E by R. So lastly, draw a curve of load versus deflection for the bending stress.